Welcome back to part two of how to install a pole mounted satellite. I'm your host, the How To Knight, and I want to go over a couple things before installing our setup. Now, in front of you are two motors, two motors in which one is only the real, true hero here. The one on the left is not that motor. You are looking at, on the left, a motor made by WSI International. This is a SG9120B. As I understand, there is one made that doesn't have the B on the end. I do not know what the difference is. I do not care to buy another one to find out, because it will probably be junk, too. This motor is leaking water. I've had it about a week. It will turn to the east. It will return to zero. I've contacted their branch in Atlanta and in California. They both tell me to take the two buttons here, hold them for five seconds, and reset this device, and everything should be fine. Well, it's not. The motor to the right is a SG2100 made by DMS International. This motor I have high hopes for. There's a lot of good reviews. This is the motor we're going to be using in our dish installation. Uh, another thing, I paid much less for the motor on the right than I did the left. And I want to show you a couple other differences between the two. Namely, the paint. Some of the paint on this is already scraped off. This appears to be don't quote me on it, but it appears to be some sort of acrylic or oil-based paint. Very thick. Um, and, of course, there's some more water. And this appears to be single stage or base coat, clear coat. Uh, this has, this is the 91, I'm sorry, 2100. Um, you can see the sticker on there, here, and some imprinting done very nicely. That is not a sticker. Very nice job. And stickers are already peeling off in a week's time. Peeling off. Uh, this button right here is coming off. Don't recommend it. Uh, this did not come with any information. This one did. This came with a nice booklet. Uh, you need this booklet with your motor. Do not rely on Google Maps to find your declination and inclination angle. Uh, it's very important that you get some sort of paperwork with your motor. Do not buy it used unless you know what you're doing. Let's see here, elevation and declination angle table. And we will be using this in a bit. Also, this motor came with a bracket that confused the daylights out of me. The bracket, unlike the one that goes with this, this bracket does not go with the 9120B. The 9120B had a bracket with an elevation angle or elevation and latitude uh, slot uh, here and here. And it really did not help. Uh, it, it was not a help at all. Uh, the bolts that go through the bracket that came with the 9120B, um, they were somehow burred. Unlike the ones that came in this package, they look very nice. I haven't taken them out yet. But they don't look like they have any burrs on the end of them. I had to rethread mine. They're not very good. These look like they have a nice coating on them. In this particular case, you get what you pay for. Uh, also, make sure you install a lightning arrester of some kind. It's very important to protect your equipment and your home. Anything that's metal sticking up out of the ground in your yard is bound to attract lightning, so let's be safe. Okay, uh, let's show you how to install this.